Hey everybody, Josh RV Nerd. I would normally say here at Halid RV of Goldwater, Michigan, but I'm obviously in my car. I'm jumping between uh, Halid RV and Halid RV Brokers, our consignment store just down the street where we sell RVs for folks. And just before I did, uh, I was trying to keep up to all the comments people leave on Facebook, and a uh, person had a really good question. They basically said, hey Josh, if you guys really have no hidden dealer fees, then how do you afford to sell stuff for so much less than everybody else around here. More often than not, if I look at an RV you have and then I look at one locally, they're asking $3,000 more than you guys plus their fees. So how do you do it? Um, and that's a really good question. Uh, the, the short answer, uh, well, there's a couple answers, but the, the biggest part of what I think that client was seeing down in Alabama is the difference in shipping costs between uh, you know the Northern Indiana manufacturing hub and Halid RV located maybe 58 minutes away and uh, what it takes to get something to Alabama. Something people don't realize about the RV industry is that freight charges are not standardized in the towable RV industry. And if you don't know what that means, um, like in, in automotive, say uh, Ford, Chevy, whoever, every single dealership, it, they pay the same to get the car on their lot. It's all averaged out. So someplace near where the car might be built, they probably pay per capita a little bit more, but somebody um, who's further away, they, play, they pay per capita less, but everybody pays the same. Um, that's not the way it works in the towable RV industry. Uh, in the towable RV industry, you're paying by the mile, basically, to get it to your store. Well, when we are located right around the corner, It, it costs us almost next to nothing to get uh, a camper from the manufacturer onto our lot. Whereas there's some places it could easily be three, maybe close to $4,000 of shipping charges just to get it to the local dealership. That's why I tell people, it doesn't matter if you live far away, we could, we could ship it to your front door. It still has to ship and usually aftermarket shipping runs a little bit less. Now where you folks, if you really want to save where you can really come out ahead is I've done the math on this a few different times and even with travel stops and stayovers and food and fuel and all that stuff, um, a, uh, if you drive from a ways away to come to Halet RV to bring your business to our doorstep in return for all the efforts that we put out here on these videos, you will cut out about two thirds roughly of the cost of like factory shipping. So let's say her local dealer in Alabama, it costs $3,000 to get it shipped there. Well, she might pay 900 to a thousand dollars of travel expenses but you're gonna save like two grand coming to our front door happens all the time that's why this morning we had people in from california to take home a montana fifth wheel we're just that much cheaper and they could save that much by coming to get it themselves so uh i get that it's a long haul but isn't that kind of the point isn't that why they're on wheels so that y you know you can do it and then you can make you can hopscotch trips on the way home and and get some use out of it, which once again is kind of the whole point to it. So you ever have questions like that, guys, hit us up. I don't care if it's a hard question. We'll give you the straight answers here at Halet RV. That's what we do all the time. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halet camping, everyone.